mixing and collecting under vacuum with Palamix. Palamix is a vacuum mixing and application system for bone cements. The intuitive design facilitates standardized mixing with reproducibly high quality. First, prepare the cement gun. Release the locking mechanism and push the feed rod back to the stop. Then re-engage the locking mechanism. Open the non-sterile outer blister and hand over the sterile inner blister. Place it on the sterile table with the labelled Tyvek facing upwards. Open the inner blister and use it as a tray. Place the Tyvek on the sterile table. It includes instructions for the next steps and can be used as a step-by-step -step guide. The Palamix Uno system contains one mixing rod with integrated mixing paddle and nozzle, one vacuum hose, one mixing cartridge, one funnel, one femoral pressurizer, one short nozzle, one spatula clip, and one knee pressurizer. A Palamix Duo system includes two mixing rods with integrated mixing paddles and nozzles, two cartridges, two short nozzles, and two spatula clips. First, close the handle on the mixing rod. Two clicks are heard. Remove the vacuum hose and connect it to the cap of the cartridge. Palamix is supplied with the locking screw opened. This setting must not be changed for the mixing process. Place the mixing rod back in the tray, then connect the vacuum hose to the vacuum pump. Position the cartridge in tray station 1. Put the funnel on the cartridge. Insert up to two pouches of bone cement powder and two ampoules containing monomer liquid in the tray. Open the ampoules at the predetermined breaking point and pour the monomer liquid onto the cartridge through the particle filter. Add the bone cement powder, ensuring all of the powder is emptied into the cartridge. When using Palamix Duo, remove the funnel and set it aside in the sterile area. Place the cap with retracted mixing rod on the cartridge and screw it on tightly until it stops. Make sure that the ribs on the cap and the bars on the cartridge are aligned one above the other. Activate the Palamix vacuum pump for at least 10 seconds. The vacuum generated can be seen in the cartridge. The vacuum pump remains activated throughout the whole mixing process. Now starts the mixing process. Mix the bone cement by steadily moving the mixing rod up and down the entire length of the cartridge for at least 25 to 30 strokes with one stroke per second until a homogeneous dough develops. Retract the mixing rod as far as the stop and briefly rotate it to the left and right. Place the cartridge in tray station 2 without applying force and rotate it to collect the mixed cement under vacuum. Important, when rotating, hold the stem of the cartridge, not the cap. Thus, the cartridge base is released and moves upward rapidly under vacuum, collecting the bone cement in the cartridge. If collection under vacuum on the tray station is not possible, release the base of the cartridge manually by pressing the two small tabs. The cartridge base moves upward rapidly under vacuum and thereby collects the bone cement. Remove the vacuum hose. When using Palamix Duo, set aside the vacuum hose in the sterile area. Release the vacuum pump foot switch. Then release the handle and retract the mixing rod. Set the mixing rod aside in the sterile area. Screw the cartridge onto the Palamix cement gun with a quick rotational movement until a click is heard. Release the locking mechanism and push the feed rod into the cartridge as far as possible. Afterwards, re-engage the locking mechanism. To fix the application nozzle, tighten the locking screw on the nozzle below the predetermined breaking point. Advance the bone cement up to the nozzle tip. Check if the bone cement is no longer sticky. 
If there is no adhesion, apply the bone cement quickly within the application time. It is possible to break off the long application nozzle at the predetermined breaking point. If needed, expel the bone cement remaining in the nozzle by using the mixing rod. Remove the locking screw. Use the femoral pressurizer to apply pressure during cemented hip surgery. For knee surgery, a short nozzle is included in the Palamix set. Attach the knee pressurizer to the short nozzle to apply pressure during cemented knee surgery. To apply a thin layer of bone cement, attach the spatula clip to the short nozzle.